everybody and welcome back to Movie Files. Here on this channel, we love talking TV. We react to the latest trailers. We do unboxing videos. We also do giveaways to show our appreciation to you all. And like today, we also do movie reviews. So definitely, if that sounds like something you enjoy, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of those latest videos. So with that being said, we are here to talk about one of my most anticipated films of 2019, and that is for the new Jordan Peele written, directed, produced it, Jordan Peele film, Us, which stars Lupita Nyong'o and Wilson Duke. Now, before I get into my thoughts on this film, this is a spoiler-free review, so no spoilers here. I might do a spoiler review. Of course, if you guys like this video and request it, I'll do it, but we'll see. But this is a non-spoiler review. And before I jump into my thoughts on the film, do me a favor, start your commenting now. Let me know in the comments how excited you were for this film where this film ranked for you as far as your most anticipated for 2019. And then when you often have seen the film, if you've seen it already or when you watch this video, let me know in the comments what you thought of this movie. So with that being said, let's talk about us. All right, so as I do with all of my non-spoiler reviews, I always like to start off with my positives for the film. And I'm going to have to start off with that cast. That cast was just great. And that's something for me as a big horror fan. I always love when, you, when we get these movies that involve like a home invasion or a family dynamic. I always want to have a movie that has a family that you can you can enjoy, you can like. You know, there's the tropes where you, the 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 son and the daughter are like, you know, ignoring their family or they don't like each other, or they're a jerk, you know. But this family, I love them all. They all had their moments. They were all funny. They all you rooted for them. You wanted this family to survive this craziness, this chaotic uh, situation that was in. So that was definitely something that I walked away with in this film was I was rooting for the cast. I was rooting for the family and not even just the family, but just the cast in general. You know, it's spread out with Elizabeth Moss and her family and everyone else that was involved. I thought the cast was fantastic. Sticking with the theme of the cast, I got to point out the standouts. You know, this film does star Lupita Nyong'o and Wilson Duke, who we all have seen on the big screen last year together in Black Panther. But this film, they just take their, their acting chops to the next level because they have a little bit more, you know, screen time in this movie. This is their film versus, you know, uh, the same Black Panther. But... You know, Wilson Duke was great. I am loving what he's doing in his career. Obviously, like I said, him playing Ubaku in, in uh, Black Panther, he was a standout. And now seeing him kind of bring those comedic chops into this film, which I'll talk about later as far as the comedy and the tone and everything. But I thought he was great. He was the, you know, the father figure in this movie. He had to be, you know, the, the, the macho man at times, but he also was, was vulnerable at times. He was very funny. And I thought he pulled, pulled off everything that was required for him by Jordan Peele as far as his character. I thought he pulled it off phenomenally. And also, Lapita Nyong'o is just the best. I she, I she probably won't win an Oscar because to me, this performance was very similar to what we got in Emily Blunt in A Quiet Place and also Tony Collette in Hereditary as far as those moms that really protect their families. Her performance was just so phenomenal in this film. Lapita Nyong'o, she played scared. She played, I mean, all of the, all of the people in this movie this isn't a spoiler, but you see in the trailer they have to play, you know, doppelgangers and they're playing themselves. And her as, you know, the 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 people the, the Nyango that we get with this family dynamic, you know, playing vulnerable, playing scared, being a badass, being funny when she needs to be, and then the playing the opposite in her doppelganger, being serious and and scary and very uh, intimidating. So uh, the the family dynamic again, seeing the actors and actresses play their their doppelgangers were great. But in particularly with Nipita Nuango, she was she's a star in this film and she just crushed it. I, again, I know she probably won't win an Oscar just because I don't know why you know the Academy Awards don't you know necessarily look at horror films in, in the way they should be, which is fine to me. An award doesn't make me like or dislike a film more, but I really, really think this is an Oscar-worthy performance by Lupita Nyong'o. And again, the cast is great, but she was just so phenomenal in this movie. So jumping into like the themes and some other things I enjoy about this film, this is a home invasion film, and I really love the aspect that we get. This is a great horror film, but I, I look at it more as in the vein of a horror suspense thriller kind of almost in the same vein as A Quiet Place or even in 2017, It, where the films didn't necessarily scare me, but I love the thrills and the suspense that we get for this film. And it, there's blood and there's really a, a different turn. You know, I don't want to compare it to Get Out, but this is definitely more in a horror vein than we get with Get Out. And I thought that Jordan Peele did a great job of delivering suspense, thriller. And then for you, if you see it, you might be terrified because there are, I can see moments where people can be scared in this film. But for me, again, I took more of the suspense thriller out of the, the themes and kind of the, the genre than I did the horror aspect. But no, more or less, it was just a great experience. 
Another thing that I have to mention, this is definitely a crowd-pleasing film. Again, not bringing up the past film, but I'm just thinking of the films in the last few years. You know, A Quiet Place, it was a quiet experience, but it was a theater experience. You know, seeing it was just a great experience, and this film falls right in line. It was one of those films where you, I, you know, I don't normally uh, react to what I'm seeing on the screen, like, in a, in, a, in a vocal manner, but this is one of those movies where you're just like, oh, no, get out of the room or run, and, and the crowd was involved in it. They were all interacting with the film. It is that type of movie. Again, I normally get sometimes annoyed when people are laughing too much or interacting with the film too much, but this film, it's that type of communal experience, at least for my theater when I saw it, you know, we saw it a Three to four weeks, four three to four days earlier than its release, but I thought the crowd was great and it played into the experience of the film, and that was something I really walked away with too. Was this is a crowd pleasing film? All right, so I have to talk about the man of the hour, the man of the year, which is Jordan Peele. I love that he is just taking his comedic chops, sprinkling them into this film, but he has a dark side. He has this mind of just a genius, and I know he's been getting compared to Hitchcock and all that, and even you know some people might say he's a in that. Shyamalan in some ways, you know, knocking out his first movie and then having, you know, expected people are expecting things in his new film, but more or less, not comparing him to anyone. He is his own person and he is a genius. And this, you know, taking Get Out and then just expanding on what he learned from that film and, and implementing in this film, which is great. He is such a great visual, like a visual director. He knows how to create tension and suspense. And I just cannot wait to see what he does with the rest of his future, whether it is in a horror vein or something else. I am just so happy for Jordan Peele and so excited to see what he has next because he definitely knocked this out of the park as far as his directing, producing, and writing. Jordan Peele is the star as far as what we saw on the screen. I thank you, Jordan Peele, and I really enjoyed him as a director and the writer of this movie. A couple more things before I get into my negatives. I am so excited to see this film again, hopefully sooner rather than later, and definitely when I buy it on Blu-ray. But there are so many moments in this movie where you know there's Easter eggs. The second viewing, kind of like Get Out, where the more you watch it, you notice more things. And I can't wait to find out, you know, see more of the behind the scenes of this movie and Jordan Peele pointing out things that we might have missed or the thousands of YouTube videos of, of explaining the different things that we get in this film. And this is that type of movie where the more you see it, the more you'll pick out of the movie. And I love when we get a film like that. One last thing before I get into my negatives, I have to bring up the score it was phenomenal. You know, you sometimes see a great soundtrack in a trailer and you hope that it's in the movie. Now, I Got Five on it plays so well in this movie and we get it quite a few times in the movie and it never feels like it's overused. It fit perfectly within the story and I had to bring up the score and the soundtrack was just phenomenal into this film. All right, so now getting into the actual negatives, there's not too many for me personally. You know, I will say, you know, this film does, he does bring in more of his comedic chops than he did in Get Out, and I think that he blended it well in most of the movie, but there were some parts where I felt the comedy kind of compromised the intensity of the scene. It took a little bit of air out of it, just a little bit, but that's just a small, minor thing. And then other than that, you know, there was maybe one or two jump scares that might have didn't work for me personally, uh, but, you know, outside of those two other things, I really thought this film was this a fabulous, phenomenal movie experience. You know, finishing up this video here, guys, you know, I say it's a crowd pleaser. It's one of the best horror films that I've seen in, in, a, in a very long time, you know, and, 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 and it creates its own lane. Again, this is more of a suspense thriller with horror elements, but I really loved it. The, the uh, Lupita Nyong'o, Wilson Duke, the whole cast is great. The storyline was great. I won't give away what goes on in this film, but it does have a really good kind of theme and a lot of things that's going on and the tones fit perfectly. So with that being said, I'm giving this film a 4.8 out of 5. This requires a theater experience. I hope you guys will check it out when it comes out to your local theater. And then myself, I'm going to probably see it again, buy it on Blu-ray, but I highly recommend this film, guys. Again, 4.8 out of 5. Go see it at your local theater. Check it out. And when you do, come back. Let me know what you thought of this film. Again, if you want a spoiler review, let me know in the comments, but also let me know what you thought of this movie. As always, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our page. Make sure you hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. I will be seeing Shazam pretty early. I'm seeing it this Saturday, so keep an eye out for that review. Check out all of our trailer reactions. We have a giveaway going out for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, so check that out to see how you can win. Thank you guys for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, <laughs>